What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I just finished up my, I think it was like 35 minutes of Pilates. I wasn't expecting to get this sweaty, but it was rough. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia and today I'm going to be sharing my top five tips for staying motivated in terms of fitness and in terms of healthy eating. So we're going to start with fitness since I just worked out. Tip number one I thought I would share right off the bat is to mix up your workouts. Very relevant because I just did a Pilates workout. I don't typically train Pilates, it's not my normal style of training, but I have been incorporating it basically every Saturday for the past few weeks, like since I've been working at F45. F45 workouts are so intense. On Saturdays, I'm not really in the mood for something intense, so I've been doing Pilates and it's like low key super intense, but like in a, in a different way. Anyway, I'm gonna try and keep these tips short, sweet, and to the point. So, like I said, tip number one is to mix it up. Of course, your routine can get boring. It's perfectly fine to want to try something new and step outside of your comfort zone. Mix things up, shock your body, try something new. You'll be surprised because there's different training styles that are super enjoyable. Try a group fitness class, try Pilates, try yoga, literally anything. Just mix up your normal routine and it can ignite like a whole new source of energy and motivation towards fitness. Okay, quickly before I go make myself some breakfast, I thought I would share tip number two with you, and it is to find a fun way to hold yourself accountable. Wow, this camera is very crooked. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, tip number two would be to find a fun way to hold yourself accountable. So whether this be through a workout buddy and having someone there to actually work out with you or doing the same program and maybe texting about it or calling each other about it once you're done, it can also be through social media posts, like posting every time you finish a workout or just keeping your progress on social media. So it kind of holds you accountable and makes you feel like you have to do it, but in a fun way. And then another thing could just be as simple as a checklist. If you're someone who loves marking off a checklist, make your workout in a checklist form. And it, I don't know, checklists are super satisfying to me, but I also love posting on social media to hold myself accountable as well. Just made some breakfast, my typical one egg, two egg whites on Dave's Killer bread, apple and natural crunchy peanut butter, coffee with almond milk and my Vital Proteins collagen peptides. For anyone wondering, I told you guys that I got the cocoa caramel collagen creamer peptides, whatever. They are disgusting. Like. I was so disappointed and sad. Now I have this full container and I'm never gonna eat them. Eat, drink, I'm never gonna use them. I haven't tried it in like a smoothie yet, like a banana smoothie. Anyway, where was I going with this? Tip number three for staying motivated and staying on top of your fitness goals would be to not let yourself get too fixated on the numbers. Like, I feel like so many people nowadays are so concerned with how many calories they burned, how high their heart rate gets, how long they work out, and then they compare that to their friends or other people they work out with, and don't do that. Like, everyone's bodies are different. Everyone's heart rates are different. And watches and heart rate monitors, like, they're not accurate. Judge your workout based on how effective you feel that it was. Like, I I just did Pilates. Pilates doesn't get your heart rate very high and it doesn't burn many calories, but it is like the hardest thing ever. Like it just burns in ways that other workouts don't burn. I don't know. The Pilates workouts that I find on YouTube are very difficult and I love them. So do not worry about the numbers, the calories, your heart rate. Your body will know if a workout is effective. You will feel like you're working hard. You will feel your muscles burning. So don't fixate on those numbers and don't compare those numbers to others. Okay, I'm about to go to work actually. So I thought I would share tips four and five with you before that. So tip four would be to actually plan out your workouts and your rest days. And by planning out, I mean schedule them into your week and then also actually write out the specific workout you wanna do. Cause if you do that, you are way more likely to actually get the workout done. And like I said, plan those rest days. Your body needs rest. Do not neglect those rest days. Plan those in as well. And if you randomly need a rest day that wasn't scheduled in, take it. Your body is telling you it needs a rest. Take that rest day, shift your schedule around, but keep a plan. Plan them into your schedule, set a specific time to do them. You need to actually prioritize time for your fitness. If that is something you truly care about, set aside time for it and get it done. 
And my fifth and final tip for staying motivated and staying on top of your fitness goals would be to actually do things you enjoy and to not be so strict and hard on yourself. Like if you don't feel like doing a workout but you really enjoy going on hikes, go on a hike. Do stuff you enjoy and that brings you joy and that it might not even feel like a workout like kayaking or paddle boarding or just walking. Like I'm walking to work today because I really enjoy walking. Do things that bring you joy. Do things that you actually want to get out of bed and do. As long as you are moving and being active, that's really all that matters. You don't have to go into a gym and lift to be active or achieve your fitness goals. Do things you enjoy, stay moving, stay active, and it'll be a lot more enjoyable. Okay, I look like a tomato because I actually just ran home from work. I'm about to hop in the shower and then I will go over my top five tips for staying motivated and staying on track in terms of your nutrition and healthy eating. But yeah, I just thought I would let you guys know that I did my 20 minute stretch and rollout session this morning and then my 35 minutes of Pilates like I said and then I walked to work and ran home and now I'm literally just going to sit on my computer and work on it and chill with the guys for the rest of the day but let me shower and then get into my top five nutrition tips. I'm back nice and clean. Okay so before I get into these nutrition and healthy eating tips I just want to preface that I am not a registered dietitian and I am not at all saying that you need to follow these tips in order to eat healthy balanced diets. I am strictly just sharing tips that help me stay on top of my healthy eating and stay in tune with my nutrition and just feel better because Honestly, when I eat healthier, I feel so much better, and I'm sure almost everyone can agree with that statement. So yes, I am not saying you have to do this, it's just what works for me. Okay, tip number one for staying motivated to eat healthy and staying on track with eating healthy is just not to be so strict with yourself, just like working out. It doesn't matter if you have one bad day, one bad meal, it's not gonna ruin your progress. Don't let that derail you completely and say, oh, I'll start again next week. It's fine, except that you had that meal. I'm sure your body wanted it. I'm sure you wanted it. I'm sure you enjoyed it, but move on from there. Start fresh the next meal. It's not gonna ruin your progress it's nothing to beat yourself up about it's literally one meal it's not the end of the world live with it move on start fresh the next meal morning whenever you're eating next and don't be so strict don't set a diet that literally sets you up for failure don't make your diet too strict stick to foods that you know you enjoy that you know make you feel good that give you energy and stay away from foods that make you feel crappy. Don't set yourself up for failure and say, I'm gonna only eat this, this, and this and stay away from all these other foods because you're gonna wanna crave those exact foods you're trying to stay away from. There needs to be balance within that diet. 80-20 is a perfect rule. Eat clean 80% of the time and eat a little bit less clean 20% of the time. It's all about balance and moderation and understanding that everything is okay in moderation and you can allow yourself to have those unhealthy meals. It's perfectly fine, balance, moderation, and don't beat yourself up about it. Okay, tip one was a perfect segue into tip number two, which is everything in moderation and just trying to find a healthy way of eating that you can maintain for life. It needs to be a lifestyle that you truly believe in and enjoy and that makes you feel good. So find a way of eating that you can truly sustain for your entire life and that you truly enjoy. Okay, tip number three is to listen to your body. And by this, I mean eat when you're hungry, stop eating when you're full, and if there's certain foods that truly make you feel like crap, like not mentally, but physically, like if they physically hurt your stomach or physically give you a headache, don't eat them. If you know you're gonna feel like crap afterwards, don't eat them. If it's a mental thing and like a guilt thing, that's completely different. I'm talking physically like making your stomach hurt, making your head hurt. I know when I have like super sugary ice creams like blizzards or different like fancy milkshakes, I get a terrible stomach ache and headache and it makes it like hard to go to bed. So I try and stay away from those. But if I'm like really craving ice cream and I'm like, yep, it's worth it, then I'll have it. But for the most part, I listen to my body. I stay away from foods that make me feel like crap because I don't like feeling like that. But I always eat when I'm hungry, stop when I'm full, listen to your body, people. <laughs> it gives you all the cues that you need for food if you truly learn to listen to what it's trying to communicate to you through its hunger cues, thirst cues, 
all that jazz. This actually goes perfectly with my last tip, which was to listen to your body. So I was still hungry after lunch, so I just made a rice cake, peanut butter, and banana. But the fourth tip for staying on track with healthy eating and really staying motivated with healthy eating is to try new foods often. You don't need to eat chicken, rice, and broccoli for every single meal. I literally have different meals all the time. Eating healthy can be super delicious, have tons of variety in it, and I just encourage people to try all different new foods, try new seafood, try new different fruits, veggies, like go to the grocery store and just buy new things each week and try them because you'll be surprised there's a ton of delicious healthy stuff out there. My fifth and final tip for staying motivated and staying on track when it comes to healthy eating would definitely have to be that water is your best friend. Like I am someone who snacks a lot when I'm bored and I find that when I have my water bottle near me, I tend to drink a lot more water because it makes me kind of be more mindful that I'm not truly hungry, I'm just bored. So I drink and also your body sends you a lot of thirst cues as well, which many people confuse as hunger cues. So make sure you're drinking plenty of water. It helps keep you full, it aids in digestion. It aids in like literally every process that goes on in your body you need water for. So drink your water, people. And I have one big tip that goes along with both staying motivated to work out and eat healthy, and it is to have a goal for yourself. Set small goals that you can attain and they can be stepping stones to achieve some bigger goal, but set goals. It gives you a reason, it gives you a why, it gives you a purpose for doing all these things, for working out each day and eating healthy. It just makes the process a lot more achievable. It just makes the process a lot more rewarding and meaningful and enjoyable. So set goals for yourselves and watch yourself achieve those goals and it kind of just like fuels even more motivation and it keeps the ball rolling and makes you want to achieve even more goals. So yes, that is my big overarching tip. And that is actually going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that these tips can be applied to your lives and that they help you guys out as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.